let's watch this in full first. This is all stepped on, except for the jump here. And attack. Ba, 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 ba. That's pretty cool. So my main impression, there are two things. I would decide on how heavy you want this to be and how far you want to push some of those poses. That would be the main thing. I do like how it's just that red on this. I know you said you're going to change this. Put this into um, Unreal, Cursed King. You get some camera assets in there. That's all good. So my main thing is that when you move this around, it's just how... If you would spline this, I have a feeling that this would go up. Just that change of this going up and then down and over. Just that, just the way he holds it. It's going to feel very light. Like all of this has a bit of a light feel. I do like this though. I know this is based on reference and I like that it, it takes him over. So it might be something where you might have to stabilize this where even you might have to put that hand here. So it has really big um, contact points and stabilization points, you know, in terms of one arm holding the this section in here. Because if you hold this closer together, that way it's going to drag it down. Kind of like how she had it in the reference. So that's one thing where you might have to reposition this a little bit and then stabilize that constant movement. And when this happens, it's almost like, again, for, for weight, you might consider going from here, but instead of right in front of us, lower might also help for silhouette but that the whole thing is a bit more on the lower side and even this here i mean this is this has a big swing that's pretty okay but this this is cool like this is my my favorite pose out of that and even this here could have you know if it's if it's really heavy there might be there might just be a bigger drag in the upper body. And then, you know, like where it's basically you, you lift here. So basically you have a bent over pose and then you lift and really go back while arms are outstretched into this. So it's really a massive lead by the upper body and head. And then through that swing momentum, then arms come up with the weapon. Again, you don't have to, I'm just curious. Because again, when you have that much movement at the end, all that, like all of his adjustments, it just makes it feel light. So it just kind of depends on how far you want to go in terms of giving this weight. And then the other thing would be just pushing moments where I love this. I love the pose, how he's leaning forward. I love that, that whole pull back with the head this way. This is all great. Cool stuff in terms of that the crossover on the legs is cool but then you could go much lower so instead of here it might be you know like way low into that and even on the jump let me just see like that would then have the leg up here and really stretch out leg to really get that swing up and even that Feels, it just feels kind of, A, it's kind of twindier, but it's just kind of like, yeah, it's almost like this is the top view of him in bed. Pillows, snuggling with his weapon. So that could just be also a moment of potentially, I don't want to go back to one leg, but it's kind of really pushing that, the feeling of, you know, head, arms up, rah, like a big stretch. <sighs> As he comes down, just a moment of really stretched out. And then that potentially really push that feel of this maybe landing. I know it's going to be very tricky to do a silhouette, but kind of pushing how far it bends him over or bends him, you know, like sideways. And do a twist. And then this would be... Like even that would then be more like hunched over to then get a bigger reversal into getting up into this again that's kind of that because it's still early days in step so i think you just have to kind of decide it almost feels i mean you know it's definitely exaggerated in terms of how high he jumps but there's still a certain realistic feel to it which is not wrong just again for you to decide how far you want to go in terms of pushing poses and timing and and the weight aspect of it all and then looking at the camera 
I think it's okay. I'm not I'm not sure if I would have that many translations in terms of like here, here, here. It definitely adds a sense of energy, but I wonder if that could just be done through him once it's all splines and maybe some camera shake. You might even have some little handheld move in there. Let's see, you're starting your Dutch right there. And that's okay. Yeah, that's my only thing. It's not like it's super distracting. I definitely notice it where it's... You know, it's it's uh, it's not a realistic camera. Again, not that it has to be. But there's a definite thing of... With the camera moving into all those translates. I think it would be interesting to do a camera where it's just from here to here in terms of translates and everything else is just rotations only and you can add some shake for some effects and then see how that feels and then you can always go back to having those moments where you can see that that quick translate there and translate there all of this definitely helps and i'm glad that you added this for visual reference kind of like you know in terms of movement reference and that's kind of that um hope that's helpful a bit half critique half questions so let me know um, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.